What is going on guys? My name is Atlantis and welcome back to Ice and Fire. Now, we've got a few things planned for today's episode. First things first, our Night Fury needs a name. So, there were quite a few names to pick from, but I decided on one specific one, and it's it's the one that it was part of the comment that got, I think, the most likes, at least at this point. And there were two name suggestions in that comment. One of them was Vina, which is, I think it's, I, I've, I've read the thing, but I don't remember. <laughs> I think it means like to win or something of that sort in like Norse, I think. I'm not sure. But the other one was not or I don't know. Not. I I know that it has an accent above it and that means it's pronounced differently. But I think that name is quite fitting. So that is our Night Fury's name. Not Not. I, I'm gonna screw. I should have chosen Vina. It would have been so much easier to pronounce. Oh my god. I'll look up the pronunciation later. But that is our Night Fury's name and... I, again, I am bad at words, so on screen right now is meaning of name, assuming I remember to put it there. <laughs> but there we go, that's our Night Fury's name. And since the, I know for, I know that name comes from a, a Norse goddess, I think, probably, something like that. So I have decided that our Night Fury is female as a result. So look at our Night Fury, it's not a name, its name is not, and now it's, it's, it's complete, I think. Oh my god, this is my third time trying to record this, so I'm not redoing it. But anyway, <laughs> that's done. Look at our baby dragon! It's so cute and tiny! Cinder's also over there keeping an eye on things. She's just watching around, looking at our world. Here, I'll put you in here. See how tiny you are compared to her. You're so small! <laughs> You're like the size of her toenail! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. But anyway, for today's episode, oh my god. I don't know why it keeps doing this. So, in the time lapse in the last video, there were a few frames where you could see my head had turned yellow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it keeps doing this and I don't know why. Please? Nope, okay, this is just my life now. I feel like, hold on. Um, why does this happen? It happens when I'm holding the book. What is. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, for today's episode, we are going to be finishing our cathedral. Now, we built this in the last episode, but I did not have enough time to finish the interior, and also it would have driven me mad. So that's today's project. Now, I did do a little bit of a staircase here. So what we are going to do is turn the interior here into not only a good-looking library, but a practical one. Now. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the downstairs. I've got some thinking to do. I really need to plan these things out. I haven't planned out exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll get there. But up here, at the very least, is going to have an enchanting table and all that. And I am going to find a way to get up onto that tower. I'm probably going to put some stairs or a ladder right here. But we're also going to add a bit of a villager trading area in here. So at least for the librarians. So we're going to go and get a few villagers today, turn them into librarians with important traits, and we're going to stick them in here. Now, I might make the doors locked so that they can't escape and they can just wander around, or I might have them set in specific areas. Like, I might set a desk right here and put, like, a mending villager or something. One of the important ones is, like, the librarian that greets you when you come in here. But I'm not sure yet, but first we need to go get them. And that's why I have these chains. <laughs> that is what we're going to do with those. So let me sleep. And then we're going to head over to the nearby village, which is off in that direction, and we're going to bring back some villagers. Okay, so step one of acquiring the villagers involves- oh my god. You're supposed to be sitting- <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, step one of acquiring villager is attach it to chain. Now, this is dangerous for them. Let me- okay. Okay, cool. I know how to get the chains off. This way, you are my friend now, and we're going to have a lovely time together. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so now... Oh god. Okay, you two. I've decided- Ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> assuming I don't kill them, I feel like I'm only going to make it home with one or- Oh dear. With a few of them. <laughs> okay, I will- f Okay. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is off to a great start. Okay, <laughs> where's- I've got my chains. Not, 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 whatever your name is. Where are you? Come here. We need to do this smartly. We need to use the big brain because we have a one of those. Okay, I'll take you with me this time. 
You're coming with me. And then, where'd you two? Okay. You're still up here. Attach you. Come down. Sorry. <laughs> and then, you... I feel like you've escaped. You know what? Two is good enough. We'll just go with two for right now, and we'll hopefully not get them killed. Okay, so the trick, bring them both out into an open area, and then up, up, and up, and up. Okay, third person. Perfect! <laughs> and now the plan is to just drop them in the lake, assuming I don't kill them. <laughs> ah, this is the best, best way of doing this. <laughs> okay. Yep, they're still there. So, go up a little higher. I don't want to accidentally yeet them into the ground. Okay. Just need to gently place... <laughs> gently place them in the water. <laughs> okay. Gently place. I'm just going to drag them this way. Now that they're on the ground. Drag them over here. Perfect! That went about as well as it could have. Nice. Place you there. Alright, come on, friends! I have a new home for you! There's one. There is... Two is arguing. Two. Come on. It's not a choice. It is a demand. Up the hill. <laughs> These... Ah, they are... They have... They have encountered a problem. <laughs> okay, they're not in the ground. I thought they were in the ground. Okay. I have stairs for a reason. Let's go. Up the stairs. Up we go. This way, please. I really should have... This is... This is this is just how it's gonna be. Ah! Oh no. This is fine. This is fine. Stop trying to run away. I am your best friend now. We're going to be great friends and you're going to live here in this giant hole for the rest of your life. Okay. Now the trick will be getting them through the door. <laughs> Pick your door. Perfect. Cool. Two villagers acquired. Uh, let's see. Oh, well. I see you're happy about things. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is ensure that they can't escape. So we're going to set up a villager thing right here. Well, I want to I want to have them on separate things. Oh dear. Okay. Where are my chains? Where'd my other chain You have destroyed them. How? Dare you. <laughs> Come here. You, here. Where are the rest- My chains have disappeared. This is just how it's gonna be. Do I have any chains in here? Nope. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab a few more chains and I'm going to chain up the other villager. Then we'll go back for more. Okay, villager number two is acquired and I only brought one chain with me. Now, come here. Don't worry, I have a better home for you. You'll thank me later, I promise. Up we get. <laughs> It's just so silly, <laughs> the way this works. Alright, let's get this one home without slamming it into the ground. <laughs> Too hard, at least. <laughs> this one is being particularly argumentative. Come on, this way. These chains are really good because they don't break, but they are also a bit stretchy. <laughs> okay, in you go. Number three has been acquired. So, I think what I'm gonna try to do... What is one, two, three, four? Is that four? Two, three, four, yeah. I'm gonna get four more villagers, and then I'm going to worry about deciding what enchants they have and all that, so I'm gonna go grab a few more villagers, and we'll get on to whatever comes next. Okay. It appears this village only has two villagers left, and I have also acquired the iron golem. So let's see if I make it home with all of them. <laughs> you know, it's pretty- it's really easy to make it home when I don't have to worry about landing on solid ground. Let's just get rid of these things, because they would be a problem. blown it up. Oh dear. That's what I was trying to avoid. Okay. <laughs> Place you there. Drag these not there. I could probably just release the iron golem, honestly. He can be- you- you can go free. I might just put you in the library, but you'll be okay. You, come on. Stop burning. <laughs> the last thing I need is my villagers to catch on fire. Alright, come on, guys. At least I didn't blow up anything important. <laughs> Uh, alright, let's get them in the cathedral. <laughs> ah, well, um, this is a- this is- Ah, my god! 
You know, this is fine. This is exact. This is fine. This is less. This is fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I have a solution. This is fine. This is fine. Come on. Go ahead and turn the other ones while you're at it. Um, this is less than fine. I have. Ah, oh God. This is okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attach these here. Okay, these are following me now. So what we're gonna do? First off, you. And then we're gonna- Stop it. I'm going to take these in my house- Ow! With it! And we're going to turn them. Okay, we're losing one. Oh god. Don't you dare kill my other villagers. I swear to god. You can turn them if you want. What time is it? Okay, it's midnight, give or take- <gasps> Ah! This is just- It's just going how it usually goes. This is normal. This is exact- I have an arrow in my head. This is exactly how things usually go. Nothing is out of the ordinary here. Go away. All of you. Be gone. Shoo. You bat looking thing. Oh my god. Stop. Yes, fight each other. Ah, what are you? Stop it. Quit it. And there's another creeper. Quit. Yes, chase the skeleton. Okay, I just need to convince these three to come up into my house. Easy. Not a problem. You're holding my chain. If I give you a chain, someone pick it up. Pick it up. Unless you're one of the kind that can't pick up things. Give me an arrow. No? Okay. <laughs> At least I know one of them won't despawn, because it's got the picky-uppy thingy. Alright, one, two, three. Single file up the stairs into my house where we can have a nice lovely chat about why you shouldn't be zombies. Up the stairs we go. <laughs> you know what the good thing about this is that I'll now have at least three villagers that have really good prices. Okay, there's nothing in here that you can zombify. Nothing in here you can kill. So welcome to my humble home. It's it's a cave. Um it's nice. You know, it's, it's got a lot of chickens for some reason. They just kind of keep appearing. Tends to happen when you spawn chicken eggs. Oh god, no. Oh god, no, there's lava. No, that's bad. Lava, I forgot it was there. Stone? That'll, that, you know, this kind will work. Ah, that's not the right button. Okay, listen guys. This is a forge. We don't want to step in it. Okay, you're safe now. Stop hitting me. That's very rude. I invite you into my home. And this is the thanks I get. This is very rude. I would like you to stop. You know, I I have I have a I have a solution. I don't I okay, so I barely use my bedroom, so you know, you can have it. We don't really have a guest bedroom. But, you know, it's full of chickens and let's see, look, there's another one. And you can just kind of hang out in here if you like. You know, just spend some time getting to know the, No, 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 no. Spend some time getting to know the chickens. They're friendly, they make good conversation, they never shut up, really. Oh my god, stop, stop, stop. Okay, one block. <laughs> I have placed one block. Just need to get a few more. Stop it. Okay, I can fly out of here. Okay, just need to place that. Ah, uh, need to place that, actually. Yeet. See? It's not so bad. It's nice in there. The chickens make excellent conversation. See, you guys are fine. You've got a nice lovely room. See, look, there's another chicken. You've got plenty of people to talk to. Chickens are people. Okay, um, do I have any- I, I hope I have a brewing stand in here somewhere. <laughs> um, ah, even if I don't, I have the means to make one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fix my problem very, real quickly. And then I probably have one in here somewhere. Didn't need to make it, but oh well. Fix my pro- I don't have water. Actually, I have a means of getting water. That's not what I need. I hope I have all the ingredients I need to make weakness potions, because that's going to be a problem if I don't. <laughs> okay, okay, I have everything I need. Uh, gapple. I need golden apples. Gap- gapple? Apples. One, two, three. I might need five. <laughs> uh, gold. Plenty of gold. All the gold I could ever use and all the gold I could ever need. Three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, we have everything we need to be able to make, to unmake our zombies. Let's see. Do that. Get out of there. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm gonna turn them back into not zombies, and then I'm gonna go check on the other villagers, because they're probably zombified by now, if they're not dead. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, the sun. Oh god. Go faster. Cook. Make. If they're zombies, they're gonna die. Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> okay, okay. Potion, do, thing. Yeet. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Um, let me... Let me go up here. Up. Up. Okay. Potion of weakness. That hit all of you, right? Have an apple. You have an apple. You have an apple. Okay. You guys are fine. Let me up. Let me up. Let me go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Don't burn! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you're still human. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys are fine. You managed to not get zombified over the night. Okay, cool. Nice. Interesting. Lovely. Great day. Hey, look, you're even going where you're supposed to go on your own. Let's go. Look at you. So smart. So big brain. <laughs> Okay, you, on the other hand, seem to be struggling to use a door correctly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Attach you to the pillar. Cool. Right. We've done it. They are safe. Everyone's safe. My villagers definitely won't despawn, will they? Nah. I've already put the potions on them. There's no way they're going to despawn now. I think. Please. Nope, still there. Nice. Okay, as soon as they become unzombified, I'm going to relocate them back to the cathedral, and this time I'm going to put doors on it. <laughs> so I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Yay! The first one's fixed! Uh, don't kill him. Staggered on me. Yeah, you know, I I didn't plan for this part. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that means the other ones should be about fixed, so as soon as they're fixed, we'll drag them out of here. Hey, there we go, they're all fixed. Now they can be free of chicken hell. <laughs> My god, this place. Okay, let's get them out of here and get them into the cathedral once again. You know, funnily enough, these things cooperated with me better when they were undead zombies. <laughs> Come on. Oh no! Ah. Uh, well, that one lives down there now. Oh god, oh god, nah, wha nah, nah. Why? Why you do? Why did this creeper have to happen? No, I'm just gonna temporary fix so I don't lose any more to the void. Ugh. Okay, remove yourself from that hole. Oh my god. Okay, temporary fix. Let's get these two up here and then I'll go collect the other one that fell through a hole. Okay. <laughs> just gonna cover that up. <laughs> oh my god, villagers! Even when I have a chain to drag them around with, they're still so annoying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last villager acquired. We have five villagers now, several of which were turned into zombies, so that's nice. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to get started on giving them their trades and all that stuff, and then we'll get going on the time lapse. So probably the trading making bit is going to be next, but we'll see. I don't know what's going to come next anyway. <laughs> On to whatever's next. After having a long conversation with the villagers about why they should go where I tell them to go, I finally convinced them to go where I wanted them to go. And then I gave them their trades, so one has mending, one has unbreaking, and then there's the other two with mana boost and mana regen. So those are the important enchants. Now, while I was doing this, they decided they wanted to escape to the upstairs, and um, a creeper may or may not have blown up my mending villager. So now we're down to four villagers, but... After that happened, I decided to go and zombify the other two villagers because I wanted to get a cheaper mending book from one of them, and I figured it would just make my life easier. So I stuck the first one outside, lured over a zombie, and eventually it turned it into a zombie villager, then I brought it back to my house and cured it. And then I did the same thing with the other one, and I got back to giving them their book of trades. And once I was done giving them all their trades and releasing them into the library, it was finally time to start working on the time lapse. And this time lapse was a pain, but you guys will see. <laughs> right, so this time lapse is probably one of the shortest and also one of the most difficult ones I've ever done because it ended up being, it just, I ended up jumping around a lot and I ran out of materials quite a bit. So the time lapse itself, the recording bit only took maybe two or three hours, but I kept running out of materials every 20 minutes, so I had to go get more, and that took several hours of gathering, so it was very annoying. But in the end, I got it done, even though it was very annoying, and it's probably not the best to look at, but it's here, it's a time lapse. It's very short, so not much to say. I stopped talking now. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll be back shortly.
Alright guys, I am back and first off, look at our little Durgan. He's not so little anymore. He's can fly now. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. But anyway, our cathedral is finally mostly done. Oh, look at him. He's having such a good time. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you have crashed into a wall. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Look at him go. <laughs> but anyway, our cath- Oh, oh dear. <laughs> She's just gonna play it off like nothing happened. Like, yes, I meant to do that. You didn't see anything. <laughs> but our cathedral is finally done, and my god, that was more annoying than building the exterior. I don't know what it is with interiors, but they hate me and I hate them. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> but also the time lapse was an absolute- it was a nightmare to record that thing. <laughs> it, it, it was painful, but anyway. Oh, look at him. He landed up there. Okay, we're gonna park you for a second, because I'm going inside. So you sit there, but look at our cathedral. This is the entrance, and this is our mending villager, Sir Einstinius of Mending. So, for anyone who hasn't been watching the series for a while, we, in the first, or maybe the second, yeah, I, I don't know, a while ago, we had a mending villager named Einstein, and then I think in our other world, I named it Einstein 2.0 or something like that. So this one, our mending villager, is named Sir Einstinius of Mending. <laughs> But something else I set up as well, I decided to just let the villagers roam around and I have these doors here that are made out of netherite and I have a key in my inventory. So without this key, well, if I get, okay, if I throw the key, yeah, see, door's locked, I can't open it. Well, I can, it, 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 it glitches open, but it's not open. But with this key, I can open my doors. So this means that the villagers can't get out and I, I don't want that in that slot, I want it down here. And I can still go in and out of my library whenever I please, but let's head inside. Look at it! I like it. I feel like I should add another chandelier over right out there, but I'm I'm out of time for the build for building this. This took all day. And the biggest issue was that I kept running out of things. I ran out of books so many times. It was such a pain to get the books I needed. But let's have a look around. So we've got this table here in the center, and there's lecterns everywhere because we've got villagers wandering around in here. I also need to name this iron golem. I put him in here, and he he's kind of like the library guardian, just in case I missed a spot and something spawns. But we've got all these nice little tables around here. We've got benches where people can sit down and do their reading. And we've got just, just a lot of things. It's nice and cozy in here. Now, my building stuff is still in here because I, frankly, I am too lazy to move it right now. <laughs> but I'll move it. I'll have it moved by the next episode. But there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff in here that needs organized and I don't feel like doing it at the moment. <laughs> but we've got nice little reading nooks under here. We've got tables and such everywhere where you can read. There's books piled everywhere. Our enchanting table is right here. And I, I might find a better spot for this, but... I, I don't know. I might I might also find a better spot for a chest and maybe a few more chests, but until then, it can just stay right there. It's it doesn't take away from it too horribly. It's 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 fine. It's fine the way it is. But also, let's head upstairs. I know we've got other villagers wandering around. For some reason, they seem to like being upstairs. So, we've got a nice staircase here. I made it more than one block wide because I didn't want the villagers falling off of it. But up up and up we go. We've got this nice reading area here and I really like this area. And then on to our second floor, more little spots where people can sit down and read their books. And then there's one of our villagers. This is our mana boost one. He just kind of hangs out up here. I don't know why they like being up here. And then there's these two. So this is too high because one of them tried to jump off. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they're safe now. They can't get out. They, they There's nowhere where they can fall now. But this one is our unbreaking three. And then where did he go? Is it you? Mana regen and mana boost is over here. I need to give these guys names, but that's that's a project for later, especially since I'm out of name tags. <laughs> but let's head up here. Now, the one thing I didn't get to was the Arsenal View stuff, so that's all going to be going up here. But I am... Not only am I out of time, but I also don't have all the Arsenal stuff unlocked, so when I get it unlocked, it's going to be stashed up here. But that is our library. We've got some nice flowers and such up here. A lovely blue... Blue? <laughs> I... I... I'll never be able to talk, and this is just how it's gonna be. <laughs> a lovely view of Cinder down there, keeping an eye on the world. And, yeah, that's, that, that's our library. I like it. I'm really proud of it, even though it was a pain to build. And I- that's a slab. And I- <laughs> I still might do some decoration here and there. And just decorate things as I go along, as I see different things. And again, I might add a chandelier right here, if you like it needs one. But I really like it. 
I think it looks nice. So anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna head down, I think. Down. Down? Down. Alright, but anyway, that is our library. Completely done and finished. And I might again I might add little bits here and there, but for right now it's done. That looks really cool. <laughs> With the fog and all that. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I wish these shaders weren't as laggy on here, but oh well, mods do that to you. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. If you really enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And next episode, we will have a name for our little baby Durgan here. So yeah, that that all, all that next episode. The, the episode where this thing hatches is coming out in about four minutes as of recording this. So next episode, we'll get a name for it. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll, I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Next video, whatever it is, I outro done. Goodbye. <laughs>